Today on CU TV. You may have noticed University Drive was blocked off last Friday. CU broke ground on the McMahon Centennial Complex. Plus, only a few weeks remain before summer officially begins. Not only are students feeling the pressure of final testing, but some students are graduating and need to have their resumes prepared. We have details on how you can complete your resume. These stories and more next on your CU TV News. Students raised their camera and flags and showed their appreciation for a new facility that will hold student activity offices and hold a food court on campus. President Cindy Ross and student body representative Megan Mefford were among some of the speakers who helped visualize the state-of-the-art complex. Jacob Russell has more on the MAC due to be completed in fall of 2009. There were many people who turned out for this, including many students and faculty, as well as Board of Regents members Larry R. Wade and Tom Clark and the McMahon Foundation trustees. The groundbreaking started as President Ross rode in on horseback with sophomore student Megan Mefford. President Ross spoke first, going over the blueprints and many features of the new McMahon Centennial Complex, or the MAC, as she referred to it. She was followed by Vice Chairman of the Board of Regents, A. Max Weizenhofer. Watson offered commended President Ross and stated that with the completion of the MAC, Cameron students will have a college experience unparalleled in southwestern Oklahoma. Megan Mefford spoke on behalf of our student body and announced that a charge that led Old Cam and a pack of Cameron students to stake their claim on the new MAC. Currently, the Changing Lives campaign has raised over $6.6 .6 million, surpassing the previous goal of $6.5 million. The completion of the McMahon Centennial Complex is projected for fall 2009. With CUTV News, I'm Jacob Russell. Cameron University is still lacking a student government vice president. Another re-election is set to take place this week. Jory Palmer gives us the latest on SGA. Student government will not have any more legislation this semester. There is only one meeting left, and it will be spent approving the distribution fund. Jessica DeWong was sworn in as president at the Academic Awards Banquet along with Daniel Brown, who was sworn in as treasurer. In yet another turn of events, no vice president was sworn in. Tobias Kuhn tells us why a re-election will take place. Well, right now we have um, had a recount of the ballots, and right now uh, neither of us reached the majority. We are both under 50 percent by the election committee because of illegal votes. The student body was thrown for a loop as the vice presidency was tossed from candidate to candidate. However, students get one last chance to vote this week. Students in SGA hope that this will be the last re-election and a vice president will be named by the end of the semester. This way, the other appointed candidacies will be able to be sworn in as well. For CUTV News, I'm Jory Palmer. Graduation is fast approaching and some students graduating don't have their resumes ready. If you're not prepared, career services can help you get on track fast. Most students don't know what career services offers. We offer a wide variety of resources to Cameron students and alumni. Career services is a free organization offered here on campus. From resumes to interviews, they assist students with a variety of services. We also offer assistance with resumes, with cover letters, with job searches. It doesn't matter if you are good at the computer or not. Career Services offers a step-by-step -step optimal resume that provides quick results. With using optimal resume, your resume is safe, it's stored in cyberspace and whenever you need it. Um, through Optimal Resume, they can also create a website. Career Services also conducts annual expos to connect Cameron students with eager employers. We also do um, a career expo every year. It's in February. We just had one. Had over 100 employers on campus recruiting to hire Cameron students. Kathy Billings says waiting until you're a senior can hinder the information that gets placed in your resume. I think a lot of students wait till their senior year when they're really starting to look for that first real job. Whether you're a freshman or a senior, it's never too early to prepare yourself for the workforce. 
To find out more information, you can log on to Cameron's homepage and look under Student Life. Click on Career Services and you'll see the different resources offered. You don't need an appointment to visit their office. Walk-ins are welcome. You can find their services on the third floor in North Shepler. Does running 100 miles a week sound like a good time? How about running for several hours at a time? For one Cameron University coach, finishing a marathon makes all those miles and hours well worth it. Head cross country coach Matt Aguero ran the Cowtown Marathon in Fort Worth, Texas two weeks ago, finishing at 2 hours and 37 minutes, placing second overall. Aguero's time qualified him for the Boston Marathon. He plans to run it in 2009. I've actually qualified a couple times before, but Boston is, actually it was held Monday. It was ran Monday and I decided not to go this year and wait till next year because the marathon I ran was so close to Boston that I really wouldn't have had time to recover. He won the Oklahoma City Marathon last year. Guerrero says it was the craziest race of his life. During the race I was in second the whole time. I was, with six miles to go I was four minutes behind and I ended up catching the guy with about half a mile to go. This week he will be running an ultra marathon in Tennessee. The race will be 40 miles long. For beginning runners, Aguero says you should know what kind of running you want to do. Well the first thing I would do is to set goals and then once you figure out what your goal is then you can kind of start organizing a training plan to get ready for that goal. Running plays a major part in his life. I mean I like to get up and go run and I mean I like to run hard sometimes too. Not all the time but <laughs> sometimes and uh, but I think you can definitely see a difference in me on days that I don't run. Girl says he looks forward to next year's cross country season. We uh, had a guy that was all region, all conference in the cross country season. So, and we redshirted quite a few guys. So next year we have everybody coming back. So I'm really excited about that. I think we can do some damage. There are four principles. Agrero goes by for anyone who wants to run. Be specific, overload, recovery, and then adaption. 